Welcome back to L.A. Noir. Uh, we're not black and white, just FYI. Uh, but we're doing the Fallen Idol uh, because I want to get the trophy, which ironically I've already got, but still, the hunch. It is by far the easiest and quickest case to get it in. So we're going to get it done. And unfortunately, I can't get things sped up. But yeah, if you're um, familiar with how this game works, you can view it in black and white, which is okay. Um, I don't know if, you, if you've not watched my playthrough of The Saboteur. If you've not, please do. But that game features a black and white uh, storyline or mechanic, and it works. Uh, the black and white feature in this game. Got a stakeout down on second later tonight. Um. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Look at you bantering with the boys. Eat. It's a tear to my eye watching my cat. Um, I don't know how to describe it. it I'm just trying to fit in. I don't know whether it's because it, it doesn't add uh, add a soft focus or there's lack of grain. It is literally just turning like, turning what is on the screen black and white. Um, so you've got high def black and white, which is okay, and in some cases it is, but it it just doesn't seem to work. It's weird. But anyway. Now look what you've done! Yeah, I'm not always like that. Ah, what the guy did want to do. Hey, five. Yeah. So if you go back into stories uh, that you've previously played before, you can actually... Um, God damn maniac! Re-examine people ahead. without using your own intuition points, which is good. But it's taken until I've cleared the homicide desk to be able to go back, roughly. So um, it, I, I think I got about 20 intuition points Her before, but well, um, June yeah. Tarzan's sister. Oh yeah, well I wanted to show you options, display, black and white. Just to give you some uh, some idea, it looks all right. Amazon, she's married to Guy McCaffrey. But he just looks McCaffrey weird. Has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. I mean, there's there's no lack of grain or soft Traffic. focusing or anything. Hey Bukowski, long time no see. You could have called <laughs> this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique. Options display off. I don't know if it's just me, but a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? That just looks better. It drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her stories that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Drivers beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, you'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. <coughs> Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around. Stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Right. So, driver's seat. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Okay. You want to see this, Phelps? There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. She's a long way from home.
Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Okay, so... How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name. June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of you? beast. I don't like. Keep out of this. Uh, okay, doping allegation. We are gonna uh, to get the hunch. You need four questions. Which you then, when that goes, use your intuition on. So, detail walk through. Okay. And this actually, it says three, you get four. So, we understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Right. Use the intuition, so L1. Uh, remove an answer. And bad cop. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Injured female passenger. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Uh, use the intuition again. Remove an answer. Accuse. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? The underwear. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Face shrunken head? We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Intuition. Remove an answer. Back up. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Maybe if you did, you wouldn't be such a mad drama. <laughs> right. Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, 
You just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. Right, so use your intuition again. Uh, ask the community this time. And bad cup. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it, and this is where I end up. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Right. That should get you that, which is the punch. Use four intuition points in a single interview cor uh, uh, session, correctly branching each question, which is by far the easiest one to do it in. And you can tell originally I did it in black and white. And uh, yeah, not fun. So yeah, you need to answer every question correctly. But use the intuition points that you have, so it's much, much easier to wait until you're around rank 20 and then go back into the stories. You don't use intuition points that you have in replays. They don't affect your intuition points as you go into regular cases, if that makes any sense. Right. Next trophoir involves um, wrecking a bunch of cars. See you soon.